Are they always like this? No. It's usually when they need an answer from you or when you owe them something. <coughs> Joshua, you mean you don't know why we've brought you here? You really don't remember? Please allow me to refresh your memory. What, what are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? Oh, um... <laughs> I, 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 I was trying to enter into the flashback. Oh! oh. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering why you were... Why you were... <laughs> you know what? Why, why don't you try again? Try again. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Allow me to refresh your memory. Oh, come on. I can't take you guys along with me to the honey. And now, you bring her into our... Okay, okay, okay. I, I know what you are trying to remind me. No. No. You need to remember this. Josh, I said I remember what you are trying to flash back into. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. Let him show us the flashback. Come on, Josh, show us the flashback. Thank you, Jay. Oh, come on. I can't take you guys along with me to the honey. And now, you bring her into our skits without any form of introduction. Fine, fine, fine. We'll have a proper introduction after this episode, all right? We'll have a proper introduction after this episode. We'll have a proper introduction. We'll have a proper introduction after this episode. All right. Hmm. So Joshua, anytime now would be great. Rolling and action. Hello everybody, my name is Tolu Lokwe, Mike Bamley, aka T Mikey. <laughs> and we are, and since it's our, our first year anniversary, we thought it's a good time to talk about how we met. Yes. <laughs> how uh, God connected us. <laughs> yeah, so would you like to go first? Should I? <laughs> Ladies okay. first. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> okay, I have to, you know, give a bit of background story. So that it's uh, it's all you know flow. add up yeah so it was flow. So uh, in 2017, I was doing my masters. I was doing my masters in the UK as at that time. So um, I think one day I was praying. I was just you know praying and seeking the face of God, and it dropped in my spirit that I would you know have something to do with drama ministry. Like I would be involved in drama ministry, and I'm like. Personally, as at that time, I enjoyed being in the choir, and I felt the choir was like, you know, my main department, and drama was just, you know, support. Cause I like being in the drama department, but I enjoyed, you know, being in the background, helping with other things rather than, you know, being on stage and acting. So I enjoyed doing the run around the backstage and ensure everything is going on well. So when that dropped, I'm like, okay, I didn't know how it was going to happen or what was going to happen. I just, I was like, okay. God, whatever you say, I'm, 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 you, I'm, I'm your vessel. Whatever you want to do, I'm good to go with it. So, um, and as at that time, I think my daddy had the drama outfit, fit lift, and before then, I was like, I don't think I'd be involved. I don't think I want to be involved. <laughs> but after I got that strong leading, I'm like, okay, I'm going to, you know, get more involved and ensure that I make myself available, and things are, you know going mm -hmm. on <laughs> mm -hmm. so so fast forward to 
2018 i was done i, I finished my master's when I came back home and i think faith lift was doing a movie location at that then and antinika was the one um directing so so i found myself on the you know on set so i was part of the um as part of the cast, cast. yes as part of the cast <laughs> for the movie not an orphan so i was like oh okay I, when she when she initially gave me the script i'm like okay i hope it's a minor role like I hope it's just something like maybe waka pass kind of role she's just laughed and said she'll go and read it so i read it and i realized it was like it, there were a lot of you know scenes and i'm like wow oh my god she said don't worry don't worry god god will help you i, I said okay so i took it up did it and i give god the glory it went very well and i just i've always just realized that i enjoyed you know being a part of the drama ministry and all so after the location atinika now called me and my cousin and she's like ah that would be nice if we you know go to uh, mount zion institute, institute mount zion institute and before then i don't think i've heard anything about mount zion Inst of course i've watched mount zion movies i've watched a lot of mount zion movies but i didn't know what institute was all about or what happens at the institute so she's like it would be nice so that me and my cousin would could go to you know for institute and just you know learn more and have a better understanding of what drama ministry is all about and okay so we're like okay that's fine that's fine that would even help us you know to be more effective in the in the drama in the drama ministry mm. so we're like okay <coughs> fine so when i said ah what is it about how is it what happens there she's like don't worry that when we get there we we'll understand better that she cannot explain it for us but we experience it she said okay so um so 2018 that was still 2018 okay okay let's go so the day we were going may yeah it was may 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 so the day we were going i, I was unusually excited and I didn't know why. I was unusually happy. I was even telling my cousin, I'm like, I don't know why I'm excited that I'm going to this place. Because I've never heard any, I don't know what happens there. I don't know what to expect there. But I was happy. I was, there was this joy inside of me. Like, very, I was so excited inside. And I'm like, oh God, what's happening? Why am I excited? <laughs> like, why, why this much excitement? So we got there and I must say it was a beautiful experience. It was it was a very wonderful experience for me. So we spent two weeks there, two weeks. And the whole two weeks was just, I mean, God spoke to me in different ways. And I literally felt I belong here. This is where I belong. This is, you know. So I was already thinking, that okay, that means I'll get more involved in, you know, drama, in faith lift. I'll make sure, you know, I don't let the fire die. So I was... I felt like yes god needs me in this you know in this area of ministry that's drama so i'm like okay i'm going to you know get more involved i was quite passionate and also and no we did not meet there yes no we did meet because so was that where you no that's true. we didn't we meet. didn't meet that may we, did, we didn't say we, word. we didn't even yeah but i, I met i met i met mommy and, and i met dami i didn't yeah. even see daddy i didn't meet him i didn't meet yeah. daddy then i was there but i didn't yes but we didn't funny enough well, yeah. we didn't meet so so and then even before then of course i know i know i knew oh, there's just a mac bamble there's amla like mac bamble and there's that mac bamble mm -hmm. but i didn't really know much about him i was no i was not no, okay we'll 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 continue, <laughs> continue the storyline so i don't deviate okay so that was me then um then okay so during the may institute they announced that there will be a singles retreat organized by mommy and film academy in august and i mean may was a beautiful experience so we said okay yeah we, we wouldn't mind coming back in august as well because you know it was an amazing experience so august came and we went back again but between i think between that um may and august i had had um dreams about him and his family i'd had like a series of dreams i can't remember how many it, it was a series of dreams and i think he only featured in one and the one he featured it was not like it wasn't anything related to marriage. Actually. I wasn't drinking water from the well that she fetched. <laughs> I didn't bring any umbrella for her. <laughs> if you are wondering, and I just need to clear the air. Yes. So that it was it was a visionary dream. Yes, but I actually did not see him. The ones I the one the people I saw, I saw mommy, I saw daddy, I saw Dami, and I think I saw Dara. It was only in one I saw him, and it wasn't pointing towards marriage as at then when I you know when I had I the don't dream. Know where I, go. I was just like when I, we are shooting movies, I'm behind the camera. <laughs> when she's dreaming, I'm behind the camera again. I don't understand. 
I need to feature more. Don't worry. <laughs> Continue. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the interruption. Continue. It's fine. It's fine. So, yes, I I had dreams. So I was like, okay, this is probably a way of God telling me that, okay, to prepare my mind that. So in case maybe Mount Zion calls me to come and feature in one of their movies, so God you has already yes. Yeah, so I thought so. God has already you know prepared my mind that okay, I'm going to feature or maybe work with them one way or the other. But my mind never went towards marriage at all. So and then at that period as well, I had. I had a long list of of um of um suitors. <laughs> I had a list of suitors that were, you know, um oh, what's that potential. Word? Yes, potential, you know, and they were qualified. good guys. <laughs> qualified, but I mean they were good guys. I, I mean I was praying about them. Mm. But God was not saying anything. So I'm like, oh, I'll wait until God says something. I cannot just go this is marriage we're talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I cannot just, you know, go ahead and and jump into marriage without a direct leading from God. So August came went for singles retreats and it was very good. It was really it was it was, it was powerful. It was, it was impactful. Fr- fr- Thursday to Saturday. I can't remember the days. Yeah, sun- <laughs> Sunday was break, then Monday was film academy. Film academy. Hey, okay, so retreat was retreat was before Yes, film that's academy. Thursday to Thursday to Friday, Saturday. To Saturday. Sunday was Sunday preparation for, for yes, film academy. Film it was academy. arrival for film academy. Yes, exactly. And then film academy was Monday to Friday. Friday. Mm-hmm. So we just prepared to stay for the singles retreat and film academy. Immediately we uh, arrived, we went to you know to to greet mommy. We had to go and greet mommy. So we got to the duplex and we just arrived. So I was really pressed. I needed to you know <laughs> I needed use to yourself, use, the, yeah. use the ladies. So I when we entered, there was mommy, Joshua, and Dami that were there. So we just greeted everyone. I think that's the first time that we would greet properly. up close yes. yes the first time we probably you know greet up close <coughs> and there, there'd be no formal introduction between us that oh this is just i didn't even know her room. name <laughs> you didn't know my name oh wow <laughs> you didn't know my name the first thing i said to her, like, I, I need to use the light <laughs> use the restroom please where is it <laughs> and then you know he, he took it took me he directed me there and then yeah so that was it went and then we went in for the program after single Shuji Film Academy started, it was one of my lecturers, was one of our lecturers and <laughs> was one of the lecturers. The lecture was interesting, it was okay. <laughs> it was very good. It was the lecture was good. It was a very good lecturer. It explained she, she like I, I <laughs> No, it was good. Okay. No, it was great. Because I mean, that was the first um editing lecture I would hear and I felt like, oh, editing is actually not as complicated. as complicated as, as it sounds. I mean you used kitchen utensils use knife food and i mean i'm a nutritionist and dietitian so it just you know it linked well <laughs> it linked well so so i think one of the days during the week i can't remember which Wednesday. day <laughs> i remember the day so that on Wednesday, blessed day sorry continue uh, so i do are you sure it's Wednesday? Oh, it was Wednesday. <laughs> i have my diary now <laughs> Go on, go on, sorry. So it was on the Wednesday. And then I was going to the dining hall to, you know, to eat. And then I saw him around the dining area talking to someone. So as I was walking, he now he saw me, so he now greeted me like hi, hello. And I'm like, Okay, hi, how are you? And then he now said, Mommy has a message for me. Is that mommy has a message for me or mommy told me told him to tell me something or yeah, mommy was to was, see me? It was one of those. It was one of those. It, mommy was shy involved. <laughs> <laughs> mommy was evil so i think i should pause here let me pause here and allow him to say his own side of the story mm. <laughs> then i'll pick it up again <laughs> thank you very much Tolope. You're yes welcome. um so let's take it back to my story is not long uh most of my story is around that period mm. anyway i'll start from may that year so may institute the first institute of the year 2018 Mm-hmm. Um, she when she said she came, I didn't see her then. In fact, the only the only I I only heard her when she was talking with mom and Dami. Mm-hmm. So what happened was I was really down at that period of the year, and I was at the institute, but not really in the institute. If you know what that mm-hmm. means, I only came out when it was time for the Holy Ghost breakfast. Went for the lectures, came back to the room, and I was so. Um, to myself. So, as at the time she came to greet, she and her cousin came to greet mom and Dami. I was in the room. It was in the evening. 
I was hearing all the laughs and everything, but I had no interest in going out to say hi. And Nami was calling me that Joshua, come and say hi to to these people. I was like, I didn't even answer. I, I pretended like <laughs> I think at a point I opened the window. Have I told you this? I think so. At a point I opened the window <laughs> to peep to see who why 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 were those people laughing? Why are they just laughing? So I opened the window and I I could see Dami, but I couldn't really see I saw I saw a part of Vicky, but I didn't even see you at all. So when I saw that okay, they were ladies. <laughs> so I woke <laughs> so and that, that that part went. So and after they left, Dami came into the room. I was like, Joshua, I was just calling, I was calling you. <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, just let me greet them for me and stuff like that. So in the institute we have groups. House mm-hmm. of Gideon, House of Joshua, House of you know, and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. So, each group had a present would present a short film, mm-hmm. and while we were previewing the film, premiering the film, um, the night before the end of the institute, Dami now pointed at you that this was the person I said I wanted to come and greet. So at that time, I don't know the scene you were acting that you were said, oh, come and save us, so that someone was dying oh, or okay, something. Yes. So I didn't even see her properly because mm-hmm. on in the scene where she appeared, there were a lot of things going on. So and it was on a projector, so I didn't properly see her. Mm-hmm. I was so. in the house of Joshua. And she was in the house of Joshua, the irony. <laughs> Not my house, so, but no, the house the called name, the house yeah, of Joshua. The name of the group I was was House of house Joshua. Of Joshua. Funny, yes. Just according to The me. irony. <laughs> so, um, fast forward to August, Singles mm-hmm. Retreat and um, Film Academy. Academy. So, she came and, uh, in fact, met before that time, back uh, in maybe 2012. I think so. I can't remember. I think 2012. Year, 2012. Wow. Um, dad and mom and all of us we went to visit her dad pastor deshola in the redemption camp during mm. one of the programs and briefly you know when you just see someone briefly but you don't really have I a memory of the person at home. i just I think you passed yes because I, I think there was, a, there was a, a function yes a youth too. program yes so, so i just quickly came home and breathed then, past uh, us yes. quickly so, greeted everybody exactly and I left. so <laughs> I, that was the first time i would see her but i, don't I don't have what i you have no like. memory i have no memory of her i just remember that okay one of the daughters came to quickly say hi and left and it was her brother that drove Dami and i to where the program yes, was going on and he introduced her to us but it was dark it was because dark, of the night so. may institute again she breathed by on screen and you know i had no memory of her. i had no name so in august when she and her cousin came for the institute, for the academy and the singles retreat, she arrived first for the singles retreat, mm-hmm. and then she came into the the house where we, we were. It was me, she me, and Vicky her cousin and Antonike. Antonike yes. brought both of them, yeah, and then wanted to greet mommy. She wanted to greet mommy. <laughs> that was the first time that I would properly see her and say, "Oh, mm. okay," mm, because no. the weather was accurate. <laughs> it was afternoon. The sun was shining. There was no crowd. Wow. So I saw her bright and clear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I did not receive anything actually, if in case you're wondering, because people would be like, oh, that uh, was weird. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that wasn't weird. So I mean, I greeted her. Hey, hello. You know, I greeted her. I greeted Vicky. So yes, there was no. Um, there was no know, there attraction. Was, there was no form was of nothing. attraction. There was basically. no form of attraction. And she said she wanted to ease herself. I was like, oh, sure. I directed them to where it was. That and was like that was the first. That was the first Mercy. time we would actually say something yes, to, each, to other. each other. And that was Hi, hello. a sentence. Oh, please, please, the toilet. <laughs> and that was it. That was Friday. Saturday, singles retreat. Th- that was Thursday. Thursday. Friday, singles retreat. Saturday, singles retreat. Saturday night. Ladies and gentlemen, some things were hmm. occurring. Hmm. What was that? Sleepless nights. Oh, my God. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like the way the king was, you know, uh, restless when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. Mm. I was restless. Mm. I couldn't sleep. And when, also for Mordecai, when the king could not sleep, until they brought, until the, book they of brought remembrance. the book of remembrance. <laughs> so in my own case, I took my Bible, right? <laughs> Although the first night I didn't take my Bible because I didn't know, I mean, why can't I sleep? I, I'm a late sleeper on a norm, so I just I accepted I was one of those nights. But to wake up at 3 a.m., I was, what's going on? Why am I awake? And then my image drops in my mind. Why? So I just, you know, just, no, 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 no. So I took it out, I waved it off, and I tried to sleep. It was very hard, but I managed to sleep. Mm. That was about two hours later. So relationship, no, 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 was not in the picture. So that was the first night. Sunday night, it happened again. Mm, I woke up. I slept late. <laughs> Woke up very early, 4 a.m. What's going on? Of course, the first night I prayed, but I didn't even know which direction the prayer was going. But it was just prayer. 
casually. The next night, okay, this time an image came out that okay, second time now. I prayed, but more dread that Lord, <laughs> if this, if you are, if it is what I think you are telling me that you are telling me, I think you have to make this really clear. We really have to make this clear. Mm. Third night, I know. Okay, this can't be a coincidence. Mm. So happened my again. Third it happened night. again. Couldn't sleep. The reason why I couldn't brush this off was because part of how I usually know when God talks to me. This is how I know that God talks to me. I don't always hear my son, my son, um, thou art, thou art. No, and I don't. I I barely have dreams. I'm not the dreaming type. The way God talks to me is from an inner conviction mm. and a strong. And you would know as a child of God, you will know when it is your body that is making a decision or you want a desire, and when it's your spirit man that is giving you a push and you know a discomfort. Mm. So in this case, I knew that this wasn't ordinary, and that's why I couldn't brush it aside. It was, and this is how God has always talked to me. And then it, and how I usually know that it's God is when I make moves to, in that direction. There is an inner peace I get. Mm. So when I was making moves in that direction by observing her and studying her. I was getting more and more convinced and I was getting more. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a serious topic. So I was having more I was having more peace mm. about it the more I saw her. And that was what um, led me to now want to tell my parents mm. to tell them. So um during those days that I was uh, sleeping and that was uh, my sleep was was uh, missing for some reason. Um I also started you know um observing hmm. i started to observe her observe her during the lectures because i had like two lectures or so so during the lectures i i would look out for her hmm. so she was always sitting at this end remember <laughs> he was at this end so i would watch her okay she's here so and then because i was also the you know the one of, one of the facilitators it was also easy for me to you know, act like not acting like because I was doing it, taking pictures of the insti- the academy as things were going on. Mm. You know, documenting. But you know, within those uh, responsibilities, I took the liberty of you know. So I remember one particular time, Dami was having his lecture. So I I went into the class. In fact, I wanted to get a good view. So I went into the class right in front, and I brought out my phone and I was taking pictures. But I, you know, while taking the pictures, I was zooming in to imagine? have a glimpse of the glory of the lord <laughs> you know so oh, wow. and i had no clue yes yeah, no so of idea. course you had no idea <laughs> after all the observations and the sleepless nights and all the prayers because i had prayed i prayed mm. i actually prayed in those sleepless nights um before the next phase i had to be sure mm-hmm. i actually had to be sure because now i i was convinced enough to know that this was this had nothing to do with me being physically attracted mm-hmm. first of all mm-hmm. and i knew what i had personally received i needed mm. more confirmations and part of how i do this especially for s- decisions like this because this wasn't just a short term this was a lifetime decision <laughs> i needed the the solid confirmation of my spiritual father and mother which is also my dad and mom so that was why i really wanted them to know but i didn't just want to take it to them just like that because it was a very serious topic so I, I needed a way to tell them. Mom and dad were absent from Abyssin of Faith. That's the retreat center where this, the academy was holding. They were absent at the time and they were to arrive the following day. So my prayer changed into saying, Lord, if this is truly, truly, truly your will, um, let mom and dad, let mom especially, ask me how far. Why that prayer, you ask? Because, you know, mothers, I don't know, not all mothers, but at least mm. most mothers, especially my mom, they have a way of asking their children when uh, they are married away, just casually asking them how far. You know, is there anyone presently, is there anyone in your life at the moment? So, um, I was, my prayer was that if truly this is God's will, let, let God minister to mom to ask me how far. And that would, you know, ginger me to speak, you know. So, Wednesday came. Mm. My parents arrived they went for another administration somewhere so they arrived on the grounds on the campgrounds on the institute grounds academy grounds they arrived and while i was in the hall writing uh, typing the exam questions for the students for the academy students so i was there was a lecture going on and i was sitting at the back and so uh while i was having the lecture i mean while they were having the lecture i was typing mom greeted everyone around 
and then she came into the hall and she greeted me ah, i greeted her well and then she sat down almost in front of me and she just you know she just kept i think kind of like listening to the lecture that was going on but not mm. facing them backing them and facing me mm. so i was thinking in my mind okay is this where she's going to ask the question is this she's going to pop up the question and then she didn't she rather i now asked her i tried to make her i was like so how was the program she was, she was like oh it was wonderful it was nice and she now gisted me a bit about things that mm. happened i was like oh okay this and, that, this and, that. and i continued typing and she kept on you know she did say this <laughs> so and then later she said Pele, so uh, Kushe, and then she leaves. Ah. And I was like, she didn't say anything. She didn't ask me how far. She didn't ask me what was going on. Ah. The night before, I had told Dami. I told him, I said, that night I just entered the room. I was like, Dami. <laughs> I, I told him in Pidgin, in Pidgin English. I was like, Dami, I've seen now. See now, I was like, see who I was like, I've seen now. I was like, really? Who, who, who? I think he wanted to guess, but he wanted him to say, he wasn't sure, so he wanted him to say. <laughs> so I mentioned, and I was like, oh, he was so excited that, ah, that he knew, he knew it, he knew it, he knew it, he knew it. How did he know? In fact, he now told me that when uh, we institutes, May, May. May Institute, when they were, when they, when Tolu and the cousin were talking with him, my mom, he was just looking at him that, ah, that this, this guy, this girl will be, it makes sense for my brother. <laughs> this girl makes sense. I was like, "Are you serious? You fat?" He now said, "Ah, why do you think I was? I was calling you and calling you that time." I was like, "Eh, wow." He was like, "Ah, why do you think I?" And I came into the room that time, and I was like, "What are you doing?" I just just sitting there in one place, looking like, "Ah, oh, just found." So he was so happy, and then when I heard that, I got even more excited. So I really wanted to tell mom and dad. Yeah. So, uh, back to the that present time, mom went into the house but the living room or something or so and i after typing the questions i got really bothered and i went to the room i couldn't even sit down i was pacing around the room that mm-hmm. she didn't ask me anything so do i just go ahead or do i still wait you know i was now in that fix while i was still thinking about it i heard her coming upstairs mm. i heard her footsteps climbing upstairs to the room so i just opened the door i saw her and then i hugged her like this, mm. I also like this. so she was like in yoruba she said this like, what do you want to say you want to say something? She's like kilo first off. <laughs> you know, normally she no, she's supposed to say what happened kilo well, You know, exactly. but she just jumped into kilo first off. Professor, I said, ah, how do you know how to say? Then she just took my hand, took me into the room, opened the door, the made bedroom. Dad was sleeping, so as immediately she said, oh yeah, Joko, and I sat down. Dad just woke up and sat up too. <laughs> like you okay? Ah, I was like, why? Why? <laughs> it's as if he was waiting for me to say something, say something. and so. He asked sorrow. Mom was like, "We are sorrow, sorrow." Mm. So to first one, daddy was like, "Okay, we are." Ah, ah. <laughs> I was like, "I was like, okay." So I told them all the stories and everything that had happened since the beginning of um, Friday that week into the next week, and then after I finished, they were like, "Hmm." Mm. So mom was like, "Hmm." <laughs> hmm. Daddy was like, "Hmm." <laughs> so I was right. Why is everybody? Hmm. Mm. Why is everybody? <laughs> hmm? So. Then mommy now started sharing her experience about how she had received the same thing much earlier. Hmm. Daddy too, uh, after that, eh, and daddy too now started sharing his own experience of how he had received hmm. that vision as well. But in fact, then they both of them started talking like, eh, so eh, you know, eh, so you know, eh, eh, eh. I was like, whoa, whoa, ah, eh. So all of us were like, confirming, confirming, okay. confirming, confirming. Yeah. I was like, wow. <laughs> so they were waiting for me to speak and i finally so i was like wow to receive the same thing they had received because saying it is not even the issue you have to personally mm-hmm. receive so them saying with them saying what they had received and their own con- convictions mm-hmm. on the matter was what solidified my decision and my own personal conviction on this topic mm. on this sister right here <laughs> that now said you are going to tell her the night because the following day was when she was to travel oh, back yeah. home i was like okay this is happening really fast <laughs> that someone that we've not even had a proper conversation in fact i didn't even know her name until tuesday that week when i was walking with diola my friend and brother i was walking with him and then he he, he now called i think he was looking for her so he was like hey, i'm looking for tolu hey tolu i was like oh so that's her name mm. that was when i knew her name <laughs> can I imagine imagine <laughs> So that night, um, it was the groups were presenting. Um, we're, doing group, we're, we're doing their shooting, projects, yes. yes shooting. The group projects. Each group was busy shooting in one corner of the of the grounds, and I was looking for her. So I didn't even know where her group was shooting, but I saw her cousin. 
Vicky. So I asked Vicky, have you seen Tolu? I'm looking for Tolu. Well, she was like, Kada, she's probably in the room. I was like, ah. <laughs> she hardly goes out. Like, she, <laughs> once she steps out of the room, it's to the to the hall for prayers mm-hmm. back into the room mm-hmm. or to the lecture hall for lecture back into the room to the dining hall back to the room she wasn't really the type to you know to be around hang and out hang out you know and she wasn't the type so i knew it was <laughs> gonna be really difficult to get her and i ne- i needed to do it tonight <laughs> so i was like okay worst case scenario she will come and eat at least if anything will bring her out everybody will come and eat so i went to the dining hall and i stayed right in at the entrance <laughs> And I was talking with other guys there, waiting there, and also looking out that okay, whenever she pops out. So as we're talking and talking and talking, I just saw her. I just saw her at a distance. It was a little bit dark, but I recognized the cap, mm. that face cap, my beautiful, that, face, the cap. beautiful face cap. <laughs> mm. What did I come out for dinner that night? And I ah. said, maybe let me just, you know, it has fast. passed. You came out <laughs> to the glory of God. God brought you out because He knew that my agenda was pure. And you know. Actually, the truth is that night I I, I didn't actually want, want to, to eat. I didn't want to come out, but I'm just like, you see how God go does it. See go how God does <laughs> wonders. So when I saw her, um, I quickly um, told, I quickly excused myself from the guys I was talking to, and I went to meet her. Mm-hmm. And then because we had never had a conversation before, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we had never had a conversation before. <laughs> In fact, the only thing we had said was hello, hi. hi. And that Can was, I, uh, do you know where the toilet, where the toilet is? is. <laughs> and that was when she just arrived. So it would be weird mm. for me to say, I would like to see you. I mean, that would be weird, right? Especially at 7 p.m. in the evening. <laughs> so I told her that mommy has a message for you that, okay, would you like to eat first before? She was like, mm. no, it's fine. Because I knew she would respond. She knew mommy better. So I knew she would respond quick. And so that's how we turned around and we and started. We continued from there. Okay. <laughs> So, yes, after I now mentioned that mommy has a message for me, so I, I agreed immediately because I'm like, oh, if it's for mommy, then I wouldn't like to keep mommy waiting. I can just quickly attend to that and then go back and eat. So, we were walking towards the duplex, towards where mommy was. And so, as we we're walking, was not asking me questions like, uh, what do I do? What, what did I study in school? All those questions. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, why are you asking me these questions? So as we're sure walking, <laughs> as they're going, age. yeah, yes, my age. And then we, at, we, initially when he was asking, I was, the way I was responding, I'm sure it was like, okay, this girl is probably thinking I'm weird because I'm like, um, why are you asking? And it's like, okay, look, okay, okay wh- whatever question I ask you, I would also answer. I'm like, okay. So ask. And then he would also say, there is some, so for example, say, okay, what did I study? Oh, I studied um, nutrition and dietetics. Like, oh, I studied mass com. Oh, which school? Bo- uh, Bowen, uh, Bells. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So as we're now going, uh, so where we now got to like the front of the duplex. Yes. So he now said that, that actually that um, mommy is not the one that had I confessed. <laughs> I told the truth. He now said that actually the truth is, is, um, is the one that wants to talk to me that is not mommy. And I said, wow, well done, well done. <laughs> so, you uh, say well done, you were saying okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it was just a lot of okay. She still <laughs> had no clue. <laughs> Wait, yeah. So I was, I was like, okay. So actually, what was going through my mind as we were walking and was asking those questions was, I now remember some of the dreams I had that me had already assumed that, okay, um, I'll probably, they would like me to feature in a multi movie. So that's what was on my mind, like, okay. Maybe this is they sent him to come and you know just ask me questions to know my shared my schedules and all that to know if, how available I will be <laughs> to feature in a movie. Mm. So I was thinking it was you know about movies. So when he now said that oh he's actually the one that wants to see me, and I said okay so maybe <coughs> it's you know Jay and Josh related or maybe his own project related. That was all that was on my mind. He now asked me if I'm in a relationship. That was when I, I was not like. Uh, Okay, why are you asking me this question? Like, I don't even know you. You are like a stranger to me. Are you asking me if I'm in a relationship? What's your business? But I, she all that, all that <laughs> I, it was my head. Yeah. So I gave him the look like, um, why are you asking? <laughs> and then he's like, okay, okay, I'm not in a relationship. And then I'm like, okay, no, I'm not in a relationship. But and in my mind, I was like, <laughs> oh, praise Jesus. <laughs> See, I was just taking steps of faith. I can imagine if she had said yes. Imagine, honestly, what if I had said yes? I'm in a relationship. <laughs> what you have done? I don't know. It didn't happen. <laughs> it has passed. It didn't happen. 
<laughs> As in, do you remember it is making me laugh? Because <laughs> I don't even remember what I said. It. I think I I I don't remember exactly mm-hmm. word for word, but I think I I remember how he said it. So he said, um, let me talk the way he's, like as him now. He said, I believe that God is okay. So the reason I wanted to see you is because I believe that God is leading me to you to be my wife. Hmm. <laughs> Are you sure I didn't say it nicer than that? No, you didn't. Oh, just <laughs> Because I don't remember how I said it. I just knew I don't remember how exactly. Spirit was leading. <laughs> I just went on. I'm sure you were even nervous at that moment. Because uh, I mean, uh, yes, I, I was. After I said it, after I said it, I was, I was laughing. I laughed at him. I looked mm. at him. I laughed. I'm like, what? I laughed. <laughs> and what was on my mind at that moment was, I thought I was being pranked. I thought I was being pranked. <laughs> I thought maybe there were cameras around and they were maybe, you know, doing a a recording session and they just wanted to get, you know, people's surprise faces. How or can how we people joke with or how people react questions. to, you know, oh. sudden questions like that. That was what was on my mind. I oh would, no, she laughed. I, she I laughed. laughed so and then hard. I was not like I mean, I mean and it's it does Jay and Josh. So I thought it was maybe part of a Jay and Josh episode or something as well. I laughed and I was not like, okay, you know what? It's fine. You've gotten my surprise expression. She laughed, she would look at me again. Then she would laugh again and she I just know that she was just la- and I was just there looking like <laughs> I have people said it. So after, after my after my laughter. And I said, okay, you know what? It's fine. You can bring out the cameras now that you've gotten my surprise <laughs> expression. In my mind, I'm like, who does that? Has in, you don't know me. I don't know you. And our first, like, technically official conversation, you are telling me that. Yeah. First, <laughs> first actual conversation. Yes. Mm. Then he's like, he's, I, 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 I honestly thought he was joking. He now said, okay, that I should bring out my phone. That is actually very serious. That I should bring out my phone and record everything he has to say. Cause <laughs> so, so that, you know, even later I can go and listen to you. Because it seems I, I don't believe what he's saying now. <laughs> we haven't listened to that video, to that uh, audio yet. No, we haven't. Uh, wow, we should. We'll listen to it again. So let's hear, let's hear. Let's hear how, how smart I sounded. How confident <laughs> I sounded. Okay, go on. So he now explained everything that has been happening and what, what you know, his convictions. And after I heard everything, I laughed and I'm like, okay, I've heard you. I'm going to go and pray about it. <laughs> I'm going to go and pray about it. I didn't see it coming. I had no idea. Like, even though I, God had been pointing me towards the, I mean, I'd had a series of dreams about him and his family, but it was not direct. Like, oh, this is the one. He's, it was not direct. But after he came and said everything he had to say, and I started remembering those dreams and I now realized that God had actually been giving me hints, but I couldn't see it because it was not yet, you know, plainly in my, it was not mm. yet plain and everything started coming back. Everything just started coming back. I remembered the dreams and it all started to make sense at that point. So after he came, so it was just like, that was what I needed to fully grasp the, you know, the understanding of the dreams that I'd been having. And I was like, wow, I'm like, God, this is a surprise. Mm. Like, you know, when something is right in front of you, but you can't see it until the light just shines on it. Mm. <laughs> so, but, but still, I still had to, I mean, I still had to go and pray. Cause at that point I was, I was in shock. I was surprised. So I said I was going to go and pray about it. And what what happened after that? After we I said, exchanged numbers. Yes, he asked for my number there and then so that we could keep in touch. Mm. And yes, I left. And <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, all my mind was yes, we have collected a beautiful sister's number. <laughs> Time to start chatting and communicating. Mm. Mm. How it didn't how? happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. Oh God, I chatted her up. You know, I think it was the next day I chatted you up or something. But I didn't want to just... No, I think I first chatted you up like greetings. Like, okay, like WhatsApp. Oh. She would reply me like four hours later, five hours later. The exam, you know, the next day, the next... That night or the following night or one of the nights was the exam night or something like that. So she wrote the exam and I was part of those marking it. So I saw her own script. She did very well, by the way. And then I took a picture of her score and I sent it to her that, you know, I'm using lecturer privileges. <laughs> To show our result before it comes out, <laughs> and then she was like, "Okay, thanks." <laughs> Who are you expecting me to say? 
<laughs> you know, I said to her that, you know, I was expecting it to pour up a conversation. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, I saved my life. I said, okay. I tried again. I, I mean, and then I remember um, I wanted the um, notes, I wanted the lecture slides that you, yes, you so she asked for the lecture slides, yeah. And then I he asked for my email, asked for email. Sent my email. I, thought, I thought it would, you know, okay, she's she's already, you know, asking me for some favors, you know, as poten- potential fiance, <laughs> not potential future fiance. And then I sent it to next thing, uh, well received, kind regard, thanks, kind regard, or something, yes, I think mean, received uh, or acknowledged, or acknowledged. Something. <laughs> Kind regards to Lofa Deshala. I was so, I was wondering, is it that she doesn't like me? But then you just propose to someone that you that has mm-hmm. never had a conversation with you before, and then you expect her to just all of a sudden start having casual conversations. No, yeah. um, and that I want that went on October. I mean August, then September, yeah. October. <laughs> conversation was so cold. She could. She was replying me like the following day. She said, "Sorry, I was busy." I was like, "This is future we are talking about. You are busy." <laughs> it went, it went but of course, it, it it was it it kept getting a bit better. Be better. At a point, I, I went to meet dad. I was like, "I think I'll just stop talking with her. <laughs> let, let me leave her to just go and pray and make a decision. And when she's done, she'll come back. To, she'll come and tell me a decision." Daddy was like, "Ah, oh, hey, she doesn't know you. She does not know. You better calm down, and you know." be as open as possible yeah. be as calm and gentle as possible if she talks to you respond and don't she she, she needs to know you so mm-hmm. that's i'm the one that has to me, let her know me so mm-hmm. you know it's not that a matter was, of that was uh, good advice. yeah it, it was a good <laughs> advice but i was feeling like what well, well, was she even feeling like but that said yeah you have to make it happen because she barely knows you you know right. and it's very funny that she did not even she you know i mean j, j mikey has um admirers and mm. those that love him Mm. And the work of and the work that God is doing in his life. Mm. She wasn't one of them. No, I wasn't actually. She was. She barely knew my songs. She barely knew. Oh <laughs> That's my God. true. I barely. I think it was only one song. It was only I one song. Knew, she and knew. I think that was Adara. Oh. And I. I, I I'm liked like the God, song, God, God, God. Of all these I, people, <laughs> this is the one that does not even send me. Ah, she not send me at all. I did. I, so I, it, did. I think it made her to be very objective. And, and then, then okay, so during that period, another thing was I. I didn't know him, like he said, and. I mean, we are human beings. Emotions can, you know, spring up from frequent communication mm-hmm, with mm-hmm. the person. And I needed to be sure for myself. I needed to be certain that, okay, this is where God wants me. I mean, I had a long list. I had a list of six people already proposing marriage to me. Oh, you mentioned <laughs> that. Yes, I was number seven on the it list. Was number seven on the list of people. Number seven <laughs> person to make a marriage intentional. So who is, who did God? <laughs> you know, say God, God told me, God told me, God told me, God told me, and then I'm number seven saying God told me. <laughs> hey. Wow, till today I count myself special. And then I'd be praying about the the other people, but God was not saying anything, and I decided that I'm not going to take any move. If I'm not going to make any major step if God has not said anything. If God has not given me a direct living, this is forever we are talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that period, I was just, you know, <laughs> that period, I took time to pray and seek the face of God. Even though I had had dreams and I, I still needed, you know, I still wanted more. I wanted mm-hmm. God to, mm-hmm. I still needed more to be, you know, that's just me. I just needed, for some people, the dreams would definitely have been enough for them to, you know, you just, you just have to understand how God talks to you. That's just it. Understand mm-hmm. how God talks to you, how he speaks to you. So I went back to God and I'm like, God, I want to have a better understanding. Is it the one? And I pray that God, you know, more confirmation. Mm. And, <laughs> and I think the final one, the final one was, the final confirmation. yeah, the final confirmation when I was now, Finally, say, when I finally made up my mind, I said, okay, I am very certain that God is leading me to him. Was I was praying one day and something dropped in my spirit. God told me something and I wrote it down. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody about it. I just wrote it down. Then I now, we were, I think we were talking either the same day, some hours later or the next day. I'm not sure. Then he now mentioned, now, it was not just casually telling me how his day, um, how his day had been. And now mentioned that oh that his mom and dad called him and they told him something they had received for him. That I think mm-hmm. that that same day or the night before, what they had received for him. And when he and I said, Oh, so what 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 was it? And then he said it and it was word for word what I had also received. <laughs> what God had told me previously. So when he said it, I was like <gasps> I was in shock because 
you know it's a different thing to hear people say things like you know say things like that but now experiencing that was the first time i experienced that like god told me something and told the, uh, his parents the mm-hmm. exact same thing and i mean i didn't tell anybody i just wrote it down i didn't tell anybody and i'm like ah oh, no definitely the god this is you this is <laughs> it is not me it is you that time when he told me uh what his parents had said and then i was i was in shock i was like what? she still I'm didn't like, tell me <laughs> i was like no 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 wow are you serious that's really she good. didn't tell me but in my mind i was amazed like i was amazed at how god works i was really amazed but i couldn't tell him then because i was i didn't why, know him why? that much because i didn't know you that oh, much oh so you yet. were you're, tra- you're still in the face of god Christ has told me god has i'm sure god has mm. told me now but i needed to know the kind of person you are yeah, to she kept study you that. I had to study you, know the kind of how you think. <laughs> when we graduated from what, chats, typing to four four, it was like I got the promotion of a lifetime. When she finally could say, "Let us talk on I phone." Was hey! I was even by appointment to go. It was and it was by appointment. She'd be like, "I will call by social time and you by social time." By she said, "You can call me by social and time." Maybe it would, we can't talk for long. Then after she'd be like, "Okay, uh, now it's getting it's getting late. I'm ending this call." Hey God, no. I was not that mean. Stop hey! it. Though. It was tough. It was a tough period, ladies and gentlemen. But I survived. I skilled through. Thank God. It is well. It, 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 I mean, according to her. It was, which is true it's one thing to okay you've heard god mm-hmm. now you need to know who this person mm-hmm. is and you know find out at least you can't know everything but, yes and that's when the question started <laughs> so we graduated from having robotic and uh, into How robotic hey, from there to question and answer phase ladies and gentlemen it was a tough phase she asked me all manner of questions Think of it, she asked me, what is your opinion on this? What is your mindset towards this? What is your, um, uh, how, how is your, everything. It was tough. And I had your, to know. She asked me from prayer life to your spiritual yes, life to ma'am. when you received the manifestation of the Holy Ghost to, to everything. And it, but the thing was, each time she said, okay, I have some questions I want to ask. I used to sit up because I'm like, ah, this is it. If I mess this up, hey. So then she says, eh, so I have some questions to ask. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Then I'll go to one quiet place because I know I have to ask ah, to my focus. brain. Oh, Jesus Christ. That should we start. So what is your opinion on this, 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 this? I'm like, well, as children of God, that's when I will, ah, me too, I will, hey, you think I went tired in your phone. As children of God, we ought to say, and I will say everything and say everything. I should be like, okay. So what about this, 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 this? And then I'll start again. Then there was now one time she asked me one question. I, I don't remember the question again, but... The question got me so I was like, wait, Seth, what <laughs> waiting now? I, I calm down for me now. <laughs> I but mean I it, it was a good experience. Questions. Oh, it was yeah, a good experience. Good. And you are you answered questions well. Of course. Uh, <laughs> I, you know it's like when you're uh, when you're uh, checking someone out and I'm no. like, okay. <laughs> you're ticking. No. So if you if you mess up in one, yeah, okay. So <laughs> after the end of I didn't look like I was an examiner over this. Sorry, I can't marry you. No! <laughs> that's how I felt. So I, I had to be. Ah, that's no, how I it felt. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like so that. I, so why were you asking? I just wanted to know who you are and how you think. So to what, understand is, what your... I thought of did not go with your mindset. Well, thank God it did go. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. No, Joe. But okay. of course, the most important is the, what is God saying in the will of God. So mm. that's the most important. Yeah. So when I got home, I told my parents, my sister, and they were praying praying about him i mean they said that the conviction needs to come for me that even if they get anything it's me that is you know going into the journey so i need to be convinced by myself for myself and then of course they were praying as well so when i got my you know convictions and i was sure so i told them and they had also prayed and gotten their own confirmations as well i'm a redeemed member i'm a redeemed child (laughs) so the normal procedure in redeem is you go to your pastor he was actually meant to go to my pastor, but because he wasn't a redeem member as at then, so he came to me directly. I had actually told my pastor about him, so he, my, my pastor, were talking. So my pastor said, whenever, um, when I'm ready, when I have my answer, <laughs> I should let him know. So after, you know, talk, I've gotten my confirmation, talked to my parents, and they were at peace with it as well. So I now told my pastor, then my pastor now called both of us, and then he now prayed us into courtship. Mm-hmm. And that was in November. That was November. Yeah, that was November. the weekday after uh, Dami's, Dami and Ella's wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the next week. Mm, the yes. following week. So we we'll prayed into courtship and the courtship journey started. <laughs> yes. Another thing I wanted to add is um, 
for my own convictions, I'm, God spoke to me the ways he had been speaking to me over time. So, you know, a lot of people ask questions. How, how do I know do I that know? this is God speaking or this is the person that God is leading me to? And I say it's the same way God has been speaking to you over time. God speaks to each and every one of us in different ways. Mm -hmm. So you need to identify how God speaks to you. Because it's through those ways he would still reveal, okay, yes. this is the brother, this is the, the sister, sister, this is the person. And, you know, reveal other information and details to you. The voice of God, it gets louder and clearer. The closer you get to him, mm -hmm. the more audible and the more you can you know easily identify say yes yeah. this is god that is speaking to me this is god that is leading me so it's important to begin to exercise that before yes. you get to that mm -hmm. bridge so the courtship period was also a very wonderful experience it and was. we had rules that we followed mm -hmm. and because our minds were in sync concerning making sure that we abide by these rules mm -hmm. it, it helped a lot and what helped the most was placing god at the center yes. so um, there was prayer, there mm. was uh, sharing the word, and mm. she read a lot of books on relationships and, and courtship mm. and man marriage mm. even as well, you know. And walking and, with God. And walking with God. So all those things, she would just call me and say, okay, you shall see, there was this mm -hmm. chapter that blessed me. So things like that really helped our, our courtship to be very interesting mm. and fun mm -hmm. at, at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then I'd just also like to share one very important lesson that um the holy spirit taught me in our courtship so um okay so you know usually in our courtship there are emotions and everything but we had boundaries so we had our boundaries and we know that there's time for everything so the thought just came and said and why why do you guys have why do you guys have so much boundaries anyway like why do you have so much boundaries mm -hmm. and at that point the holy spirit just you know gave me an analogy that helped me he said most of the you know most of the when god tells us do this don't do that it is for our own benefit the analogy game is like when you want to you know bake a cake you first have to mix the ingredients yeah. <laughs> mix the ingredients together bake it then you now put the icing that's when you now cream it but now said boy a lot of you know a lot of young people they want to first jump into creaming the cake that is, you know, where the mm. romance and everything comes in. You want mm. to jump into, you know, icing and creaming the cake. Instead of putting the ingredients together, make sure you mix it well. Then you bake it. Let the cake be ready. Then you now put the icing on the cake. But most people want to jump to the icing of the cake. While they the, are putting <laughs> the icing on butter. Exactly. So you are putting icing on something that is not solid. So mm. that would definitely, you know, affect things. And it would block you from seeing some things you ought to see. So that's why we say it's important for you to know God for yourself. Because when mm -hmm. you have that relationship with God, sometimes when you're having certain thoughts that you're not meant to be having, the Holy Spirit is there to help you. Or you can also talk to him, ask him questions. Because mm -hmm. if you have a strong why as to why you're not doing certain things, it helps you. So uh, I, I would also want to add my meeting with, during our courtship, mm -hmm. I was supposed to meet with, um, you know, when you want to take, when you want to pluck a flower from the garden. <laughs> There are many <laughs> protectors and gardeners. And one of them that I will never forget, before I met her parents, I met with her big brother. And it's no other than Pastor Leke Adeboye. Oh my God. Oh my God. It was a beautiful experience. I remember sitting down in the city room and I was just, I think. At for, he had already given me some, you know, some distant signals that hmm, you this guy, hmm, you this guy. <laughs> so when I eventually came and then I sat down and he just came. So how you doing? How you doing, Joshua? Yeah, so that, so that. So started tossing the questions. Hey, God. Ah, Pastor Leggy wants to hear some nice accurate intelligent details. I was sweating on that. AC. I mean, he, he yeah. wanted to know if you had a plan. Ah, <laughs> he, he, and the funniest thing was he now said he was actually lenient with me because mm. his wife thank you so very much auntie T. <laughs> his wife likes me so he was saying for so some reason my wife just likes you and i mean i'm just lenient with you so thank you very much for not being too tough <laughs> but what i experienced too and then he also warned me gave me some big brother advice and warnings and it, it was beautiful okay so um one year in marriage one year anniversary can you share with us what your experience has been like Thank you very much for that beautiful question. <laughs> so one year, my one year experience, God has been faithful. I have literally seen the hand of God in our lives and in this, in this marriage. He has indeed been faithful. And I, would, I can, you know, boldly say that to have a successful marriage and a successful home, 
God needs to be the center of that home. Mm -hmm. It is very, very important that God is at the center of that home. And I've realized that, you know, the closer we are to God, the closer we get to each other. And I've also, you know, seen the work of the Holy Spirit. Mm. The Holy Spirit is co continuously working on it, on both of us, continuously yes. working on both of us. Don't neglect your relationship with God because there are times, w there are situations that would bring about maybe there's a new phase, you have more responsibilities and you want to, you know, kind of <laughs> sideline, side line, yes, or you get neglect your time. No, it is also it's very important to you, let the fire burn more and more and you, you will see God at work. Yeah, out. It's, it's, been, it's been an amazing journey um, also because, you know, entering into marriage, you don't, even after you hear all the counselings and all the advice mm -hmm. and everything, you don't really, really fully understand what you are going to expect till you mm -hmm. get into that boat. Yeah. I can say with all confidence that this marriage has shown the power of God first hand. You know, when you mm -hmm. are under your parents, you see testimonies, mm -hmm. you see miracles, right? But you don't fully sometimes see what, how they asked God. Mm -hmm. Well, now it is just you. Because now I'm a man in my own house now. So I've asked God for certain things and yeah. asking God in my mind, I'm like, hey, God, if you can do this thing. And I've seen it happen. God has been extremely been faithful. faithful. And he has also proven uh, to us that the concept of one shall chase a thousand and mm -hmm. two shall chase ten, put ten thousand to flight. It also applies in blessings. Yes. If you're going to be blessed in one fold as a single, <laughs> when you marry the right person, when you marry in God's uh, based on God's instructions, mm -hmm. the blessings go 10 <laughs> times 10 i can i can boldly say that True. <laughs> <laughs> so i think we've wow. come to the end of our how we met and i think we've gone extra mile to also yes. share and give the testimonies um, about the one year about this our one year anniversary mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we thank you for listening and we hope that this has encouraged someone both a single brother a single sister and a newly married couple Continue to look up to God, continue to mm -hmm. trust God, and um, don't let go <laughs> of all the plans and the promises that he has made for you. Don't let go, don't and let it shall go. come to pass. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching.